bakery at a Valley tattoo parlor really left its mark. And those crooks went the extra mile just to break in. Tonight, KCAL Line's Andrea Fuji is live in Northridge outside the tattoo shop with a story you'll see only here on 9. Andrea. Jeff and Susie, thousands of dollars worth of equipment was stolen from this tattoo shop after a thief got on the roof, went down a utility ladder into this utility room, went through this empty business, and then made a hole to get inside. It's how it, right? Nicholas Budner <laughs> makes his living using tiny tattoo machines to create his art. But early in the morning, 18 of them were stolen from Cat House tattoos by a thief who climbed through a small hole to get in. Those are our paintbrushes, you know. We, we may have needles and ink and things like that lying about, but without our machines, that's, that's our bread and butter. Budner says he believes whoever did it got on the roof, climbed in an open vent into the meter room, made a hole to get into the empty business next door, and made another hole to climb into theirs. Through the hatch, down the ladder, and through two walls into our business. Yeah, it was pretty MacGyver. <laughs> He says the thief or thieves knew exactly what they were after. Each tattoo machine costs upwards of $800. It's a very, very large collection of tattoo machines from me and all of my artists. I mean, most of these things are one of a kind. In the meantime, Budner says other tattoo parlors have given them machines on loan. And he hopes other artists will be leery if the thieves try to sell them his machines. They're scumbags, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm a hard-working blue-collar guy just like anybody else. Now, police say there have been other commercial burglaries in the area, but believe this is an isolated incident. Jeff and Susie, back to you.